It's just real. All right. I just looked at the the live video. I just put it back up, and that shit was grainy, man. I apologize for that. I finished helping out my wife with her hair, so I decided to jump back on. It was Adriel Cruz? It's a Diane Brush. Did you say? Hold up. Is a Diane Brush curve good? Man, it really, it really don't matter because you can get curve, a curve, you can get ways with a curve brush or a flat brush. It don't even matter the brand, man, because I didn't see people get ways with a damn dollar store brush. So, I mean, it's all up to you. My personal opinion, I wouldn't, if the brush is like, talking about like some $30, man, I wouldn't do it. The reason I got $30 brushes is because I was caught up in that whole uh, you got to get this brush, got to get that brush type crap. But I like curved brushes because they cover more of your hair than, say, a flat brush does. Because with it being curved, it can actually, like, sit on your hair instead of a flat brush like that. So the curve kind of hugs it. And you got the flat like that. So I prefer the curve, but I ain't about spending $30 on a brush, man. So hope that answered your question about that. But I don't, I don't even have no Diane's, man. Only curved brushes I got are them CQPs. That's it. I got six to seven waves. On the side is that. Man, I would have to see. I would have to see what you're talking about. Um, you can search to my IG account. And I can look at it and tell but just based on you telling me that you got six or seven ways on the side i can't tell if you got straight hair or not so um my ig is swole waver it's s-w-o-l-e-w-a-v-e-r like one word swole waver and then you should see my picture up there so send it there and i'll be able to tell you send a good a clear picture too man because i don't want to tell you wrong Cause you could have medium texture hair, so who knows? What up, Davion Cohen? What up? What up? What up? What up? I just decided to go live since it's nice outside, man. I gotta get my my social media activity up, man. Cause I don't want y'all to forget about it, brother. Cause I ain't out here in y'all face like that, just throwing in content at y'all. I be having I be having too much. All right, man. Cool. But I'll answer you back on the DM once I get off this live and I'll be able to help you out. But like I said, I'm trying to get more active on this social media, whether it be Facebook, IG, or YouTube, man, so I can get my sub count up. Man, I'm trying to help as many people as possible. So I see I got to put that, that work in to be able to do that. Come on, man. Focus, yo. All right, there you go. I got to put that work in and stay constantly in y'all face. So I got a lot of knowledge, man, whether it be waving or um, working out, man. I'm For any of y'all who don't know, I'm a personal trainer. I train, I run fit camps at 5 a.m. All right, cool. I'll check it out, uh, Adriel. I'll check it out. I run fit camps at 5 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's my side hustle. Plus, on top of that, I run a meal prep company, and I cook for people on the weekends, like healthy meals, like chicken, ground turkey, tilapia, salmon, shrimp, stuff like that. And I'm pretty much working seven days a week, man. I work Monday through Sunday. Monday through Sunday. So... Man, what's up with y'all? Y'all got any more questions? Cause I'm gonna be on here for a little bit. I'll chill until the Cavs game come on. And if y'all didn't see my other live video before this one, um, I was telling them that I'm, I'm gonna have a video dropping tonight explaining my home workout. And a little portion of it will show what I eat as well. And the last portion, I think around the 10-minute mark, is going to have 
um, the wave part of it. Well, I'll show y'all the pomade that I went back to because it like works the best for me. So, man, so what's up with y'all, man? Y'all ain't saying much on here. Like the video too. Like the video. Y'all throw, share the video, get people on here if they got questions, and I'll try to answer them the best to my ability. I don't care what kind of question it is, man. What kind of question? I'll try my best to help you out. Try my best. I know I gotta cut. I didn't realize my face was this bad though. Shit. I'm trying to grow my beard out. I'm getting on that Rick Ross. Can you fight on my bro? I ain't answering dumbass questions, cuz don't be stupid now. I see how y'all be doing on Sir Cruise Live. I ain't with that shit over here. All right, so you take your goof ass on with that, man. Real Gucci, whatever your name is. What's that? I'm on 12 hour chef and looking at you. That's what's up, man. 12 hours, that's a long time, dude. That's a long time. But get your money, man. 12 hours. That's what's up. Man, I feel you, Adriel, man. I feel you on that. You say I'm in Chicago? No, not right now. I live in Joliet. It's like 30 miles away from Chicago. But it's close enough. Joliet ain't nothing but a a, a smaller Chicago. It go down, it go down, go down out here too. So, just a smaller Chicago. Any, any, whenever I go to Chicago, it's just to go visit my, my boys or my family that still live out there. But I don't hang out there like that, unless I got a destination. I don't just go kicking on the streets no more. It's different out there now. Way different. Hey, who y'all got in that this calf Celtics game today? I got the I got the calves. I got too many bets on that too, so I gotta go with the calves. All right. Cat yep, yeah, calves all day, bro. Hold up. I thought I did this. I'll show y'all the waves. Y'all can see them. Like I said, I ain't brushed all day. So my hair. So my uh, hair ain't that late. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually cut it Sunday. I'm gonna cut it Sunday. I ain't sure if I'm gonna go live with it, but I'm gonna cut it, line my beard up mustache and all that other stuff fade the back of it so i might do a video for that and i self-cut so any of y'all who didn't know that i self-cut i don't go to no barber the only barber i let cut my hair is my brother and he stay in houston texas so he come back here maybe like once or twice a year so any other time i'm cutting my own hair Cutting your own hair is a good thing anyway, man. So you ain't got to wait on nobody to cut it for you. Y'all see, I got the Eddie growing. Oh, also for many. Whenever I put my do-rag on, get some more weight now. No, you good, Adrian, man. Ask all the questions you need, man. With that, I mean, it depends on smushes it down. No, I feel you. Because, like, with the with the um, the um starting cap I had on, my waves kind of smushed down, too. So, what I do, what I would do, I would take a, a softie and I would just go over it, go over my hair. 
That way it kind of like wakens them up a little bit so they don't look as, as smashed. Because I get the same thing, especially after I didn't like wash my hair and put a product in it and then I rag up and then I get to work and unrag my shit look it look it look real smashed up so when I get to work and I go in the bathroom I take my super soft brush and I just go around I don't I don't use like a medium or hard because when you do that all it's gonna do is raise your hair up man and then you're gonna be looking extra crazy so I take a softy and I just go around just to kind of waking it up that I'm straight man the reason I say soft because it's gonna keep your hair laid down like it was in a rag. So it don't hurt to go over your hair with a softy after you unrag. It ain't gonna do nothing. But just don't use no medium brush or no hard brush because your shit gonna stand up. I just laid a do rag on it. I just laid a do rag. Uh, lay it down. Hey, that works too, man. Whatever works for you. That works for you. Every everything works different from for everybody. Like I get that that same thing that you're talking about. I get the same thing with that on um, washing style. Like I stopped doing that because after a while, it started looking like my hair was matted. Like I didn't like that. Like my hair was laid, but that shit started looking. Like a damn a leather wig, man, and I wasn't feeling that, so I stopped doing that shit. So it laid my hair down real good, but I didn't like the after effects of it. It just it just looked strange, man. So I don't wash and style no more. I don't do none of that. I just wash my hair, brush it, brush it till it's dry or damp, and then I add my my product to it. I comb my product through, then I brush it again, then I rag up and I call it a day or call it a night. Like I don't have as much time as, as y'all younger kids to be in the mirror all day. Cause I got four kids of my own and a wife, so I can't be in the mirror all day, man. I ain't got time for that. So I make sure every brush stroke count. Everything that I do, I make sure that it count. And then I get on with my day. But for y'all who just in school and just playing video games and hooping, y'all got all the time in the world, man. I ain't got that kind of time no more. Castor oil, my hair's super shiny. Um, it could, you know what? Them, them poly rags, they, they, I don't know, man. I haven't done like the research on it. I don't really use silky do rags that often. I use my Walmart do rag, and for the most part, it, it lays my hair down the same way my, um, so many ways do rag does. So, I mean, to me, it ain't no difference. The only difference is, is the quality of the do rag, like how it feels. And how it looks because you got more color color on uh, options you gotta cop the velvet do-rag yeah probably i never had one so i can't speak on that bro i ain't never had one i just keep it simple with my do-rags but i don't i don't have that matted problem no more because of what i do to my hair i just go over it with a softy and i'll be straight Man, it depends. That that's a that's a that's a that's a that's not a that's a myth, man. Like that don't it don't do the same thing to everybody here. Yeah, I heard that a lot too. That the poly sucks up all the moisture. That ain't that ain't facts, man. Everybody ain't got the same hair texture, so poly do rag might be straight for somebody. It might be bad for another person. You just gotta see what works for yourself, man. I see that everybody in this in the um. In a wave game, especially these wave pages, one person say something, and then everybody else follows suit, man. When it ain't, it ain't that way at all. It ain't that way at all. Just because it don't work for somebody, that don't mean it ain't gonna work for you. You gotta try it for yourself. I just keep it like that. That's what I do. That's what I say. Try for yourself. See if it works. If it don't, 
Yeah, man, I heard about all that drama, man. People, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm with it. But y'all yeah, heard about all that drama. You talking about that drama with like um, PB and Wet Nick Wavy and what's that? 360 Jeezy and Cruz. I heard about that. It's crazy, man. Adriel, do you know who's Lord Fo? I don't know who what. I don't know what you're talking about, Adriel. Is that a person? Cause if so, I don't know who that is, yo. I don't know who that is. But yeah, all this this drama and this and over here is crazy, man. I don't get into all that. I don't get into all that at all. But these grown men, they hash it out one way or another. Y'all either they either gonna get down with each other or they gonna just leave each other alone. I ain't about that teaming up shit. I ain't about that. I just stick to myself, do me. But hopefully they all get it together. And like I said, either come together or just go your separate ways, do your own thing. Because hair should not be something that, that you beef over. It ain't worth it, man. Life too short to be tripping over hair. If that is what they beefing about. It could be something deeper than that. Who knows? But as long as it ain't got nothing to do with me, it's whatever. It's whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm up here trying to build an empire for my family, man. Outside of this wave stuff. I do this wave stuff because it's fun. But, man, y'all got any more questions? Y'all quiet. Hopefully y'all can still see me, man. I don't know what's up with this live stream at all. Asia was um retype what you was talking about because I don't know who that is, bro. I'm not sure if you sp spelled his name right or spelled it wrong, but I don't know who that is. But summertime here, y'all, y'all need to start getting y'all bodies in. In order, man. Damn, search him up. Damn. Lude for search. I'll look him up after I get off here, but I ain't heard of him. Is he a waiver? Oh, he a rapper. A Chicago rapper. And I ain't heard of him. I know that for a fact. I ain't heard of him. Haven't heard of him. But it's like, I only listen to like certain rappers now, man. Because most of this stuff out here... I don't be feeling it. Like right now, I'm rocking with Dave East. So have you heard of Dave East? That dude, he a beast, man. Like what, little baby? I don't even know who the hell that is even. <laughs> little baby. If you, you search him up, man, he a monster. He a monster. He got bars, man. He got bars. Yeah. Nah, I don't know no, I don't know no little baby or no little Daddy, oh, What up? He wants a cup of ginger ale. No, you can get some water. You ain't getting no pop. Wait, are we going to the park? No, we're not. Sorry, sir. But anyway, yeah, I ain't heard of him, man. Like I said this rap, most of this this new stuff. It's only a, a few people I rock with, man. I don't know him. I ain't heard of him. But I don't even listen to, to the regular radio because it'd be a lot of trash on the radio, man. A whole lot of trash. Yeah, I know who Kodak is. I like a few of his songs. That's about it. Only like a few. <laughs> He's like, all right. But yeah, when you get a chance, Adriel, go look up Dave East, man. D A V E E A S T. Dave East. He's from New York. Nah. Nah, I say somebody else on here. They just ain't talking, man. I 
I'm just chilling. I got all the time in the world. So if people get in, get on, and or not get on, it's all good. It's all good. You got any more questions? My neighbor over there snapping. Boy, I don't know who he yelling at. He pissed though. <laughs> if you don't have no more questions you want to jump off go ahead man and i'll go ahead and get up off here because i think the, the calves game is about to start in like 30 minutes plus i'm waiting for my my um my tattoo artist to hit me back because i'm about to get a new tat so i'm waiting on him to tell me message me back through facebook what he gonna charge Can you come back outside yeah, you need to wipe your mouth off, man. You're looking crazy. Wipe your mouth, man. You're looking crazy. See? You got kids. Forever parenting. Dude over there snapping off. I wish y'all could hear him. He over there snapping. My kid's gonna come out here. It's about to get a little loud. Sideways. When does it curve up? After you take your do rag off. After you take your do rag up, you talking about it curve up? Because if you use. Because I don't push it back to my natural headline. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. You could be using like too much product. Who knows? Like I said, I got to see your hair texture. Once I get off here and I get on IG, I'll be able to see your hair texture. Maybe I'll be able to help I you out. out yeah, he went out. Maybe I'll be able to help you out a little more. So. Oh, come on. What do I gotta use this? I'm going to go ahead and jump up off here. Cavs game about to start, so. I'll holler at you later. Adriel, I'll um, DM you back to let you know about your hair, man. I'm out.